there's no big idea or small idea. There's a good idea yeah. and a bad idea. Yes. Most of the stuff out there is um, a collection of really bad ideas. Mm. Some are really very good ideas. Mm. And that's where I think I'm interested in, I always have, uh, which is really just making stuff that is good. Yeah. Has no correlation to budget or scope or anything. It really has to do with does it have a conceptual bone? And I think the world really divides into people who have a conceptual bone mm. in them or they don't. A lot of people don't have a conceptual bone in them. And so I, I think the, that's really where the, the distinction is. It's always about good work, and good work can be tiny. Poems can be small, mm. and haikus are fantastic, and some novels are shit. So they're big, they're yep. maybe 600 pages, but they're shit. Yep. And same for movies, and same, same, same for spots, and same for anything. So haikus are welcome, Do and you think poetry the is yeah. welcome. Yeah. Yes, no, absolutely. Do you think the ideas are, do you think there's less good ideas now than there were perhaps when you started? You know, it's true. I was thinking about it in relationship to history in general. Is there better music? Uh, was there better music back then? Mm. Was there better storytelling back then? And the answer is, I want to say yes, but uh, when you think about it, how could that be true? Mm. How, why? Wh what happened? Why are we living in a shit time? Right. And they lived in a great time. So maybe, possibly, um, when it comes to music, I do think that's the case. Mm. Um, I went to see, you know, I saw, what did I see yesterday? I went, I saw The Voice on TV. Oh, yeah. Uh, I watched that. Gosh. Um, I, got, I got to say, I had a fantastic time. Yeah. And I, I really, it was fun. But, um, you know, I don't know, I was literally thinking about it. What would Mahler say, or Mozart would say, if the, 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 the chairs would turn to these people? And that's really what being out there. Yeah. So I don't know the answer to that. Is it really, is it now worse than it was? I want to say yes, but I think that'd be stupid. Yeah. I suppose it's difficult to, to constantly be coming up with fresh and new and completely unique ideas, isn't it? But um, it's, uh, only yeah. it's almost impossible, yeah. right? That's the whole thing. Everything is inspired by something, isn't it? Well, thank God. Nothing is yeah. original. No. Let, let, let's, let's put it this way. Yeah. You know? We know that. And that's a big relief. There's no original. Mm. There's a way to tell a story in a different way, but there's no original story. Because yeah. we are the same, right? Love, death, birth, envy, hatred, anger, blah, blah, yeah. blah. So they all there's, touch no, there's the no original points. idea. Yeah. There is a, a new way to tell an idea. Yes. What it's I thought was interesting is I went to the um, Saatchi's uh, you know, new director showcase. Yeah, sure. And what what was in, well, first of all, I I I thought it was an amazing idea to get you know twenty five directors, including yourself, to make these you know short films. Um, and I loved your little little mop one, by the way. Um, but you. also, what what was interesting for me, just because I'm always you know interested in seeing you know new talent and what's out there, is that the the storytelling was they were perhaps you know the new directors were using maybe drones and gopros and some new technology um but it's not like it's not like the the films were dramatically different to perhaps what was done five years ago or ten years ago it was one no but that's the whole stories. thing you know every documentary now has yeah. a drone right it has a helicopter shot yeah documentaries that you that that has five thousand dollars behind them have an helicopter shot. Why? Because a drone is, is, is there and you could do it. Is it better to have, is, does it make anything better? And the answer is absolutely not. Mm. Because if you look at the conversation that movie, the Coppola did in yeah. the 70s between the Godfathers, um, there were no drones. No. There, were, there was good writing. Right. And there was good acting, good, good directing. And there was a story that is profound and resonant and of the times. And it was crafted. And it was, there wasn't too much of it. So you can actually really look for it and understand it. And that was a movie that, that got made. Are there as good movies made today as there were before? 
absolutely. Mm. There is incredible amount of good stuff being made. Uh, I don't think it's it is because everybody can have access to it. I think if you have a good idea and you know how to make it, craft yeah. form is everything. Yeah. It's true for Picasso, and it's true for Brock, and it's true for uh, Gerhard Richter, and it's true for, uh, for anybody working today. Um, so I do think that that is um, something that we have to look at is form and craft. How is that really changing what we do? And the ability to get things done quickly mm. and easily, not necessarily make them better. So the story is, it's at the end of the day, and I guess that's really the, the issue at, at, uh, that we're trying to talk about, which is, do you have a point of view? Yeah. Not do you have anything to say, because I don't know what that, that, mean, that means. Um, did Ibsen have something to say? Probably pretty profound at the time. Uh, but he was Ibsen, yeah. and I'm not, and a, a lot of people are not. So the question is, do you, do you have a, do you have a way to do it in in a format in a, in a craft that is 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 is, is fresh and in, intelligent and perceptive? That's really the question. Um, Can I just ask you, so? Clients are getting much, much more involved these days mm -hmm. than perhaps they did many, many moons ago. And it, I guess it's a question of, you know, directors and obviously, you know, certainly of your caliber, perhaps take on projects because they see it as beautifully crafted films, as maybe even, you know, art. But is our, our, our clients sort of approaching it from a different angle? Do they just feel that? they don't want it to be art and craft and they want it to be I'm not even sure what my agenda is sometimes mm. uh, and I'm not particularly sure what their agenda is what I'm I am aware of is that it has changed a bit in a sense that there is a like you say there is a client involvement level that we haven't seen before mm. uh, can I change the world no I'm not a fool uh, and that is really where it's going. Yeah. This is where it is. And it's true, f you could say the same thing about movies. And you could say that about publishing, I guess. Mm. Which is, there is a marketing need that is going to drive a lot of these decisions. Is it more extreme in when it comes to advertising and ads? Possibly. But this is the world that we live in, and it's just not going to change. Yeah. And it's ridiculous for us to even ask for it to change because it'd be a futile attempt. Yeah. So the question is, how do you operate within that parameter right. and still make great stuff within that box? Yeah. And it's always a box. Mm. And um, so I guess the answer is um, don't be a pussy. Right. Work less yep. if you need to. Yep. Try to find good work yep. and fight as much as you can within the box you have. Yeah. And that's reality. And that's what we're going yeah. to see on TV. And that's what we're going to see on the on, online. The flip side of it, I think, is that the 30-second ad is no longer really the only format we're talking Holy about. God, yeah. And allows, yeah. and, 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 and censorship is not the same. And mm. you can, and so there is an avenue now, which wasn't there before, for things to, to grow and expand and find new, new things. The screen is the screen. I don't yeah. think it really matters what screen it is on. The screen is still a screen, Absolutely. and that's really where, where you're going to consume it. I don't care if it's network or, or internet. Mm. I don't see any distinction between the two, by mm. the way. For me, they're all the same. It's a screen, and you can stream it on the big one or a small one. It's still a story to be told. But So what I'm saying is there is a flip side to that thing, which is there is a whole other avenue you can work. So, yeah, don't be a pussy. Yeah. I mean... I saw one on, on YouTube, I saw a, a little video, and I don't know how long ago it was done, I think it was a while ago, but it was with Jeremy Bar Barrett from uh, Goodby. Oh yeah. And I, I loved it, it was sort of, it talked about collaboration and that really important relationship between the director and the creative director. Huge. Huge. And I guess, you know, that, that relationship is, is key, isn't it, to doing good work. Um, oh my God. Look, the relationship, um, that relationship between the people who care, look, there, there's another, the, the relationship is, 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 is absolutely humongously important. Yeah. 
We have to remember one thing, and I, and I always do. You know, the, the people who send the boards in came up with them. Yeah. Right? Um, we get them, and all of a sudden, I mean, they were pregnant for right. nine months. And now... You're delivering. And, yeah. I, and, no, no, and then it's my child all of a sudden, yeah. right? Yeah. And there is something profoundly... There's, there's tension mm. about that idea. They were pregnant. Yeah. They gave birth to it. Now I'm taking the child. Yes. And, and I'm going to and I'm going to raise again. it and I'm going to raise it <laughs> yeah. exactly like I want. Yeah. So that's the great thing about it because you can they've written the book and mm. we kind of do the movie version of it. Yeah. And that's where it becomes the best relationship. Yeah. Where the starting point of what's whatever is coming in the door, whatever the, the these ta very talented people not all of them, uh, have written yeah. is a starting point. If they come in with that idea that that is what we are going to do together, mm -hmm. they will have something great. Yeah. If they come in with a preconceived notion about I'm going to take their baby or I want the baby to eat only that or the book has to be shot like that, that is a source of great tension yeah. and usually not great things come yeah. out of it. So that relationship is everything. It's key, yeah. I mean, I, I just feel from like a producer's standpoint, the communication at the, in those early stages is so critical. And that's a little bit like I was talking about really getting to know the director. Because I feel like sometimes, you know, young directors, if they get somebody like you take a bite on their script that they've been writing for, say, three or six months, yeah. they sort of tiptoe a little bit around when we first have our conversations. It's like... They don't want to say anything that's going to sort of perhaps put you off stage. And we can it debate it, and, and the outcome might be yeah. that I'm not going to do it. Yes. Which is much better outcome. Exactly. Than walking uh, away than or, or disengaging later. Or disengaging. Yeah. So much better. Yeah. And so my, my you know, I'm, we shouldn't be naive, mm. but at the same time, I think just be honest about it. Yeah. You know, the, the, the studio system has a great thing. Which we all need to make the same movie. Yeah. That's when great things happen. It's not that there's not going to be arguments, but it's the same movie we're making. Mm. If they think that I'm making, uh, if they're making a profoundly comedic schmaltzy ad, and I read it as a tra tragedy from Russia in the 1900s, <laughs> yeah. uh, there will be there will be some fucked up moments yes. in that process, and so. You just have to be really simple. And what I do in all my conversations and co conference calls is I say it like I see it. Mm. And I shoot, it, I shoot it like I said I see it, like I said, I, 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 like I saw it, mm. and I'm open for that, ne that negotiation, that mm. debate, that healthy relationship. But there is, and we, sh we, we will be fools not to recognize it, there is a lot of preconceived notion about what it is and there is tremendous amount of fear mm, and mm. fear i'm jewish mm. so fear moves everything it's great I, I, that's the only reason i'm still alive is because i'm scared shitless <laughs> but that is the, the wrong kind of fear uh which is i don't want to piss anybody off and i want to do what this is and they wanted that that's the wrong fear mm. the fear of failing doing something good is the fear that moves you along. Yeah. So it is about what kind of fear you're driven by mm. and what kind of psychological pressure you're under. Mm. And if the, the, the psychological pressure you're under is you performing, right. uh, that, is, that is usually where great things happen. If it's just about, you know, Moish from, from that soap company is not gonna like this, God forbid. Right. That shot is going to really make him, you know, he wants this, I'm going to do this. So that would be horrible. Yes, yes. So, but you... you there's, there's another thing, you know, I don't, you know, people come on, on production and go, oh, that's, that's the board? Right. I never look at the board. What's the board? Right. It's 30 seconds ad. Mm. If I don't know how, to, if I can remember that in my head before I go shoot it, if I need a board to look at it, go like, oh, now we're doing the close-up. Right, right. I'm going to shoot the close-up. There's no board. 
So you're talking is, about your, your director's board, or you're talking about the original Director's agency. board. Right, right. I'm talking about the, the, the whole notion of, like, it's got to look yeah. like this. Right, right. Because that was drawn by, by Menachem, who right. lives in, yeah. in, in Calabasas, who did the board. So I never spoke to him. Yeah. That if that is what we're going by, yeah. then nothing great is going to come No, up. absolutely. I think it's, you know, the problem is, is that there's so many people involved in this process now. So you have that template that then, you know, everybody can look to and they can tick the box and say, yes, we're good with that. So I guess... Well, that's fine for yeah. them. And I draw yeah. it because I'm, I have to make a living and, and I'm yeah. part of this business. So I'll draw it. Yeah. But the idea that we are trying to, and that is the same idea that happens, we're trying, to, it's trying to uh, find a formula mm. or a, pre, a, 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 a mold that's going to make this ad safe and good. Yeah. The board, the thing, the casting, everything is going to be predetermined, and we're going to know, sh we're going to know exactly where they're going to put the camera and how they're going to act and what they're going to do. And that's a recipe for a really bad outcome. Yeah, absolutely. Because you're not breathing what that set or what this actor or what this location or what this idea or what this concept can bring you once you open yourself up to it. So it really is all about that. But there's probably very few agencies, very few marketeers who really can allow things to breathe and for things to change. You know, if, you know, the, if the casting gets better because you find somebody else the there are people like that, yeah. and they're, 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 hence there's some great work out there, yeah. and there's a lot or not. Mm. And the question is, what kind of what's ge what kind of generation is being brought up on what? Will they? Uh, are they? Are these are the people who are going to be brought up on that kind of thing or not? Mm. And I think that you know, and I have to say that I don't think a lot of times the issue is not not the agency or the marketeer, mm. the client. The issue is the relationship right. between agency and client. Because they on their own and they on their own mm. are all pretty intelligent people that have, they will actually accept good ideas. Mm. But there's sometimes something in that connection that create distrust and yeah. or whatever Some that is, disconnect. that disconnect, yeah. that that is the source of it. Because if I sometimes go to a client and I know that, it, and that is the, the heart of it is because I don't have that relationship that the agency has with them. I'm cleaner, I do not see me for six months, right. and they, I haven't beaten them, they haven't beaten me. Yeah. And I can just go and say, this is what we're going to be doing, I think this is better, blah, blah, blah. And I go, okay. Yeah. And it is, so at the end of the day, it's about trying to have that sort of relationship or, or better that relation between market, marketeer mm. or client and agency in the production process, in the outcome process, in the out so the outcome will be better, and yeah. that's really where it is. Do you can you see can you see a, a, a world where the clients are coming directly to the production companies? Because obviously that's happening with some projects. Look, I, I I have to say this, which is, and and this is not uh, not this is not lip service to anything, you know. Oh, I'm not kissing ass. The, the, uh, the coming up with an idea mm. is a hard thing to do. Yeah. You know, and I don't think, and, and we poo poo it sometimes, directors, production mm. companies, way too, a lot of times, too often, mm. uh, forgetting that that is a hard thing to come up with. Yeah. Um, it's really easy to come up with bad ideas, and most of them are. Mm. That's why we hate it. But when you see a good idea that's mm. been really thought through and is a fresh, great concept, man, that's hard to do. So can they come to us directly? Sure. Will it eventually create exactly the same outcome, which mm. is we will become part entrenched in their process, their thinking, and their tension will be, that, that whole um, will be mired in their psychology or their process and vice versa, mm. I think the outcome will be the same. I think that the, the, the still the, the idea that there is a, a marketeer and there's an agency and then there's production is a form or, or a structure that is still healthy because, or should be healthy because there is a place for that and a place for that and a place for that. And everybody has, a, the relationships are different. Yeah. Therefore, we can use them in a different way and the outcome might be better. So you've transitioned um, 
Well, I mean, you've, I think your first feature that you did was in 2008. Right. It was an independent movie, yes. co a comedy. And then right. from there you did 300, the right. um, companion 300 as opposed to the, the sequel. Um, that, was a, that was a big studio movie, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a big um, studio Big hundred million dollar movie. It was a big movie. Yeah, big movie. The 110 so million dollar production. Is there a big difference between doing like an independent and doing a big Hollywood movie? Um, yes and no, you know, the answer mm. is yes and no. Um, you know, when I did this, the, the, when I did the, the movie for Warner Brothers, um, I was walking around going like, thinking about the difference between independent and this and that, and I remember sitting one day and going like, it's really nice to play for the Yankees. Right, right, right. Really right, right. nice. And, the, and doing a good studio movie for yeah. a big studio, is playing for the Yankees, and that's yeah, a great yep, yep. feeling. And they're great at it, and they know how to do it. And they don't, they don't, they, so there are parts of that that are just incredibly fulfilling, and you work with really, 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 really clever people. Really good people, yeah. So six uh, months in Bulgaria. Well, it's more than six months. Six months. Inspired um, by opera. What? Inspired by opera. Inspired by opera. Which is, a, which is a great love of yours. I like it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I know it, I like it. It is a, uh, yeah, but we can take the Bulgaria part out of it for really? a second. <laughs> but, um, Terrible food. No, you know, it's like, yeah, the, the food is not the strength. Yeah. You know, beautiful people and yeah. obviously a very good country, but production wasn't easy. Um, and no production is easy. But mm. um, you're asking me why I did it. Is, uh, no, I, I, I guess because, you know, a lot of the time you, you hear people talk about big studio movies and, and it feels like, there's just so many producers involved, and it, fe uh, you know, and, and I. But but I have to tell you that the ego is ego. Yeah. When you have a hundred million or six hundred dollars, right. ego is ego, and that's really the issue. The right. issue is ego, and the issue is you got to always have different opinions, no matter the size of the project. Yeah. There there is some freedom. Yeah. In doing a small movie that you control, that you've written, that you produce, that you do, mm. that you make all those decisions. Once money comes into the picture, it becomes uh, a lot harder. Yeah. Look, there are people that are very fortunate. Paul Thomas Anderson mm. is an example of somebody who can do, you know, this one generation. He does whatever he wants and yeah. that's it. You know, Francois Ozon or, or Leo Carax, who did uh, one of my favorite movies in the last few years called Holy Motors, mm. you know, these are exceptional people who are able to do exceptional work that is art yeah. and it's their way or the highway in certain certain terms and they have to abide, abide for, by, by some, by, by, by quite a few rules. But, you know, luck of the Jews, I'm not one right. of them. So it's like, okay. Well, so but I guess, I guess you know. you're pretty lucky. I mean, and it, again, I guess it's it's about collaboration as well, isn't it? It's the team of people that you're working with. As, as to it's all about people. You, period. You, you have the same vision, and you know, and, and it's you all get about people. Yeah. So I was gonna I was gonna <laughs> finish up by saying, what is your advice for young filmmakers? But I think you've sort of stay away from it. I That's my biggest yeah, advice. Yeah. Uh, look, if you want to get into the business, you get into the business. And that's yeah. about it. Uh, what should you do? I think you, my only advice actually mm. is interesting maybe, uh, which is before you, before you do anything, consume everything. Right. Be a consumer before your output or at the same time. What's happening is that the points of reference and the points of, of how people are influenced by other mediums mm. in general are becoming less and less interesting right. they become youtube or become this or that i think that's really what's happening you know um you, we have to to have that hunger mm. to all forms of art and to be influenced by it and consume it in the same passion you want to output you know all these people i remember uh the the the, the one thing that changed my life dramatically was listening to richard strauss salome mm. um when I was a teenager for the first time, I was like, you can actually do that. It's so a one opera act that really changed everything. And it is basically written at the same year that Freud came up with the idea of neurosis. Right. At that exact time, so, okay, so Freud, 
mm. is doing that because Shah is doing that. Uh, you know, the, the, it's, it's, you know it's the, the writing it. The, and Picasso hears about it and paints it. And so what you understand is all these people, Oscar Wilde and Richard Strauss and Picasso mm. and, and, what, and, and Freud, were all somehow connected and influenced by, this, by, by each other and from very different mediums. Right. And that is what maybe is missing, is to have the ability to really consume that, mm. not just the, you know, ad critic or shots.net right. or whatever. These, these are great tools and they're part of our, of, of our business. But to consume it, it like yeah. really like you're hungry for other things, yeah. uh, then you may have may be more successful in actually putting out something out there mm. that has some meaning. Some relevance and relevance. and becomes that piece of art that you were talking so about. That, that's, so that's so yeah. that's really my, if I had if I if anybody wants to listen to my stupid advice, the advice is uh, and I'm actually when I think about it I'm not even sure that it means anything and it's gonna help anybody. But I'm gonna say it anyways, which is just consume. Yeah. Yeah. Consume, 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 consume. The other things than Kanye. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. And I love him. Yeah. Thank you so much. That was very enjoyable. Good. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. We'll um, we'll put your office back. I promise you. <laughs>